So today I'm going to be doing some literal cold starts of some fluorescent lights out here in the shed. These have been sitting out pretty much, they've never been brought inside so I'm exposed to all the temperature. This one is a general lighting co. Um, it's upside down. It's an F40 fixture. There's a star there. Um, this one I've never actually tested. So I will go get a bulb and we will see how this thing holds up still. Here's just a quick look at the ballast. As you can see it is made in the USA. 140 watt lamp. It says there's a blue wire but by now it looks green. Pretty much so. And the bulb we're going to be using is a Sylvania Daylight Deluxe F40 T12. It is well used as you can see by the burn marks at the end of the tube. Let's we'll just uh, get this one in here. There we go, all set. And uh, we'll have to turn it on using a long extension. You know, I have an idea. So what if we shut the garage door? And you know, like, uh, oh no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Let's just uh, turn it on. Oh, there we go. It's very dim. Didn't flicker that much, probably because it's really cold out. There's the ballast. Yeah. An F40 D12 fluorescent light in the cold. So here it is with the um, garage door closed. This used to be in the Lights of America lamp. It seems much happier now. Amazingly, there are no 60 hertz flickering lines, even though we're using a magnetic ballast. It's kind of hard to squeeze in here. But... There you go. Now you can see them, but I'll shake that off. It's not putting out that much light because it's super cold, but yeah. At least it's working. So next we'll move, we'll move on to this light, right here it's a dual F40 fixture. Um, don't know the manufacturer name, we'll just uh, turn it on here. Very nice. As you can see there's one, two, that's used more than the other. Let's just hop up to you. Okay. Let's see if you can see that name up there. There we go. Keystone electric fluorescent light. Magnetic ballast. So I can turn the light off. There we go. Don't know the don't know the brand of these tubes. So we got our starters up there. Let's see if I could. Ah, that's hard to rotate. Um. Oh, here we are. General Electric. Wow, look at those. 40 watt cool white. There you go. So here is our second lamp. This one used to be lighting one of the bathrooms in the house. However, it was taken out in favor of other lighting fixtures and remained in a corner of the basement collecting 
dust for all these years until I found it and took it out. And I've done some work on it as you can see. I've um, put a new cord on it. And uh, here's the ballast. An interesting thing about this is this one seems to be quite old, however, it is a rapid start ballast. Now, a very old rapid start ballast, but it's still a rapid start ballast for one thirty or forty watt lamp. Sound right A. There you go. Danville, Illinois, made in the USA. That's how you know it's quality, but no starter. It does have a plug on this end, and how when this thing was wired, it was wired with these corroded wire nuts, so I've taken those out, putting some new ones on. The cable was cut right there, so yeah, of course you need a new cable. How this was wired before is the outlet was wired to the output of the ballast on this side. And I don't know why you'd need, why you'd ballast an outlet, but that's how it was wired. And I've got a feeling that that was wired wrong, and that may have been the reason why it was taken down. But I've rewired it according to this wiring diagram on, on the ballast. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Probably cannot see that. Well, you guess you can, but... Now, I've no idea if I wired it correctly, if it's going to work or if it's going to explode when I plug it in. So that's why I have it out here. And we're going to stretch the extension cord and see if it'll work. Got the lamp all wired up using another bat short to die, short lifespan, probably going to die soon, fluorescent tube, because I don't know if this thing's going to blow up my tube, so I don't want to put a good tube in it, here we go, from the pipe to the surge protector, here we go, three, two, one, I can't tell, did it light up, it's so bright outside, I guess it is light up. It's working. Let's see if I'm uh, I wired the outlet correctly. Let's see if we're running 120 volts through our outlet here. Yes, we are. We are running electricity through our outlet. Luckily, this thing is working the way it should be. We have light. Let's see if it um, comes on instantly. I want to see. So let's uh, put this getting a bit darker. No, I didn't turn it on. Okay, let's go. I could just turn it on. There we go. Wow, I love how it slowly comes on like that. It's cool. Let's see. Let's bring it inside and see if um. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Cause you know, with some electronic ballasts nowadays, rapid start ballasts, the light is brighter because they operate on a higher frequency. I don't think that one has any circuits in it. It's probably just some sort of weird thing that they've done. So I'll I'll bring it in the garage and we'll see how bright it is. Okay, here we are. 
got it inside and let's turn it on. There we go. Very nice. As you can see, we've got a little neon light glowing. Tells us we've got light output from the socket. Here we are. It appears that less stress is exhibited on um, the uh, Filaments at either end, cathodes or whatever you want to call them, when they start up, it's a little glow in there. But that's pretty typical, it seems, for these. There you go. Just working quite nicely. Yeah. It's a. Uh, oh, yeah. How it was um, wired before, these were the wires that were coming into it. Basically all the wires are like this, they use this type of weird charcoal thing. That was really d dirty. These were the wires coming into it, as you can see at the ends. They were cut, this was coming out of the lamp right there. And all of the connections, aside from those two wire nuts, that were those um, base wire nuts, all the connections were made with electrical tape and um, the other type of like brown tape. I forget what it's called. Yeah, masking tape. That's what it was. That's what all the connections were uh, made out of. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video.